So we've uh, basically run a, the performance testing based on a, exactly the same testing we'd use in a normal AFL, a normal performance testing. Uh, slight adaptation to the uh, the wheelchairs, but very, very little, just uh, mainly the setup from our perspective. Uh, key areas, acceleration, explosive power, uh, looking at measurements, some anthropometry as well, uh, weave agility and any ability testing. So yeah, just uh, brought everything that's not done normally to, uh, to the AFL draft, uh, just adapted to the wheelchairs. So there was a number of tests. The first was a 20 meter acceleration test, looking at explosive uh, power off the mark. Uh, second and third were both uh, 505 agility or change of direction test, see how they can technically move the, uh, the chairs. Uh, the third was a weave agility, very much about agility styles. Uh, we've done some measurements too, uh, and the final one was a yo-yo. So that's looking at their intermittent recovery in gameplay to see how far they can last in a game. So the, the data we're, uh, we're actually working with, this is the first time it's actually been done, so we're actually setting some benchmarks now, uh, looking at all, again, the, the, the primary uh, the physiology uh, measurements of, of what's going on. The data will now be transferred to each of the athletes, so they can actually get an understanding of where they stand as an individual, and we'll be looking more collectively from a benchmarking perspective and talent ID as to where we can find some improvements. terrific the support that we have from AFL Victoria to get this to this uh, level of professionalism and it also brings an additional exposure to have a day like this to get more applicants along uh, they start to talk about it and it really is gaining some traction now and we hope that everybody understands that this is we're here for the long Long term, this is, uh, you know, we want this to just build and get bigger and more popular um, every day, every week, every year. Okay, days like this are so important because, you know, we've established a league now, so I was one of the original, um, should I say, the original five or six back three years ago. And from our first day of tryouts, there was only, you know, five or six guys. Never in my, you know, never could I believe that three years down the track would actually um, have established a league in the AFL and a competition of, you know, five very strong teams. So to have a day like this, to have the amount of people turn up and try, uh, it, it does wonders for disability sport and sport um, as a whole as far as it being inclusive of the AFL and the league so an absolute fantastic day for our sport of wheelchair AFL.